going to practice the turnaround rule today. Do you remember the turnaround rule? Hmm. Yeah. We know that we can change numbers around when we add them, and we'll get the same answer. Let's do some practice. You're going to need your dry erase board and a dry erase marker and something to erase with. If you don't have these, that's okay. You can always just grab a piece of paper and something to write on. Pause the video right now and go grab those items, first graders. All right, we are ready for our turnaround rule. I had so much fun with the Yahtzee dice that I'm gonna use them again. I have my little bucket here and I have two dice in here. I'm gonna roll them and let's see what we get. Okay, I'm gonna put them right here under the camera. And open your marker and we're gonna write these numbers. What's my first number right here? There's four because there's one, two, three, four dots. So let's write four. And then let's also write what our other dice says right here on top. What is that? It's five. Four and five. Now let's put an addition sign between those. We're going to find the sum of four plus five. So we need an equal sign Go ahead and count all of those dots, these four plus these five, and see what you get. Did you get nine? Yes. Now, I'm not gonna move my dice yet because remember, we're practicing the turnaround rule today. I could take these dice and I could put the this dice first and then I could have this dice. So now I'm gonna turn this so you can see it really good on the camera. What is this number right here? It's five. What is this number right here? It's four. I'm gonna put my addition sign in the middle and I'm gonna put the equal sign also. Now, can you count? What is five plus four more? Did you get nine? Nine. Oh, look, we can say four plus five, or we can turn those numbers around. Five plus four. And look, we get the same answer, first graders. That's the turnaround rule. Let's try it again. Erase your board. And Mrs. Faust is gonna roll the dice to see what we get from our bucket. Okay, here's what we get. All right, let's look at this first one right here. What number would this be? It would be three. What number would this be right here on top? It would be five. We're going to add these, so what do we put first graders? An addition sign. What do we need here at the end? An equal sign. I want you to go ahead and count. What is three plus five? Did you get eight? That's what I got. Eight. Now let's turn this around. I could take this dice and put it first and then put this dice. It doesn't matter which order because we're adding them. We're finding the sum. So I'm going to hold this. What number is this right here? It's a five. What number is this right here? It's a three. What are we gonna put between them, first graders? An addition sign, because we're finding the sum. Now we need our equal sign. Now, what is five plus three more? Did you get eight? Oh, look, 
you just use the turnaround rule. We could say 3 plus 5, or we could turn those numbers around. 5 plus 3, and we get the same answer for both problems. That's using the turnaround rule. Way to go, first graders.